Good evening, 2K Hoopers, and welcome to another WR Pro-Am League broadcast. Tonight, you are tuned in for Game 4 of the WR Pro-Am League PlayStation 4 Season 12 Finals between New Lane and the Rim Reapers. It's a best-of-seven series for $2,200 cash money and the right to be called WR Pro-Am League champions. Currently, New Lane is leading 2-1 in the series over the Rim Reapers. We're going to head to game four momentarily, but please, if you haven't already, hit the follow button at the top of your screen to never miss a WR Pro M League broadcast here on Twitch.tv. Also, make sure to follow the WR Pro M League on Twitter to stay up to date with everything around the WR Leagues at WR Pro M League. And of course, if you and your five think you have what it takes to compete with some of the best in the Pro-Am community, please go to WRProAmLeague.com to sign up for all their upcoming tournaments and seasons on both Xbox and PlayStation. I'm your host for the evening, Snowbike Mike, providing you that hype and that energy that you want to hear throughout the broadcast. You can follow me on all my social media accounts at Snowbike Mike. And of course, check out my live streams at twitch.tv slash Snowbike Mike. Enough talking. It is time for tip off. We got game four underway here in the home court of the Rim Reapers. New Lane leads the series 2-1. Over the Rim Reapers looking to extend that lead to possibly 3-1. Or will the Rim Reapers tie up right now in Game 4 and make it a 2-2 series? We're going to find out here are your starting lineups. For the away team playing in that orange and red combo, New Lane at point guard, your captain, the official DC. At shooting guard, J-Rod. At small forward, Rain on the Rim. At power forward, Cass. And at center. J Money locks up. Now, for your home team starting five here in the all white, the Rim Reapers. At point guard, Duck on Quack. At shooting guard, Zerg. At small forward, John Starr. At power forward, KD Elite. And at center, Poppy Germ. Thank you all so much for tuning in to another WR Pro Am League broadcast. I'm your host and commentator for the evening, Snowbike Mike. And we're ready to jump into game four. Will New Lane take this game and move up 3-1 in the series? Or can the Rim Reapers squad right now tie this up 2-2 and move this into a tiebreaker? Best of seven series, $2,200 on the line. We're going to find out right here, right now as we jump into the action. Here we are underway 2-0 quickly for the Rim Reapers as they win the tip. But quickly, official DC answers back with a dunk of his own in this five-out offense. Folks, if you have been tuned in with us all evening long, we have talked about it from game one through game three. It is going to be a back-and-forth affair from both of these teams. It's going to come down to the defensive side. Who can lock up the playmakers? Who can get those stops? And, of course, capitalize on the offensive side your players to watch on the new lane squad in that orange and red combo of course the captain the official dc has averaged 40 plus points in each game rain on the rim has been electric from the outside knocking down three after three and of course the big man J Money locks up has shown his defensive versatility, stopping the captain Poppy Germ and stopping all action down in the paint. On the opposite side for your home team, the Rim Reapers at point guard Duck on Quack. Very similar play style to the official DC. He can get moving. He can put that ball in the hoop at any given moment in this five out offense, in this high screen and roll type situation. His counterpart is going to be captain at center big poppy germ he's going to get going quickly in this high screen and roll offense can these two continue to go to work and will we see some offensive electricity from the two big time shooters john star and kd is elite they have gone up and down with their shooting game one they were on fire game two game three they were quiet right now so can they get involved in this offense and help this team tie up this series at 2-2. We're going to find out right now as New Lane quickly takes the lead. 9-6 over Rim Reapers. We got 2.30 remaining in the first quarter. Still plenty of ball game in game four right now. But Poppy Germ off that screen and pop right there. He's going to knock that down from the elbow. And that is good from deep. Make it 9-8 for the big man. 
And now on the opposite side, the official DC is going to need to go to work right here for this squad. He's averaged 40 plus points in each ball game, so we know he's going to go to work. Of course, his guys on the outside know that if they're there standing like cones, they need to knock it down when he gives it to them. He doesn't need to give it to him that possession as he gets an easy up and under right there underneath the hoop. Make it 11 to 8 in a three point ball game in favor of New Lane. And Zerg on that give and go. Nothing from it in the corner. And now a New Lane's going to be able to capitalize off that defensive stop. And that's what we talked about. But oh boy, Zerg gets up with a big time block. Sends that into the courtside seats. Hold on to your popcorn, folks. And now New Lane's going to get it underneath in this inbound right now. And Cass is going to give it up to official DC. He is the man to watch. He's getting double teamed right now. Players able to get back to their man. And now we're back to it. Seven seconds. Gets him to jump and goes up strong with the right hand on top of Zerg. Nobody has shown that they can stop this man on the offensive and defensive side. As he gets everything he wants. 13 to 8 now. Duck on quack. Going to have to answer back. Back to Poppy Germ. Back to the basket. Left wide open as Jay Money just not in his way like he wanted to be. And that is up and good for him. Official DC now his squad up by three. Minute remaining in the first. Still plenty of time in this ball game, but would like to see a good couple of possessions down the stretch of the first quarter. That one goes up and good from deep. Make it 16 to 10 now as a new lane increases this lead. And official DC can just do it from anywhere on the court, really. Leave him open from the outside. He'll knock it down. Give him not enough space, and he blows by you. He's going to get an easy dunk, and that's going to be Poppy Germ. Great pass and great movement by the three over on that strong side right there to find the big man underneath. And now Rain on the rim. Smart time out for this squad right here. They're going to take a timeout. They're going to realign here. 16 to 12, up by four. 39 seconds remaining in this first quarter. They're going to get about maybe one, possibly two possessions remaining in this first quarter rain on the rim left wide open as everybody transitions down to try to stop official DC underneath and that's going to leave somebody wide open on the kick and there's rain on the rim we talked about him in pregame he can knock it down if left open and duck on quack tries to hammer it on two defenders he gets swatted smart foul right there by Zerg to stop the transition for new lane as they're going to try to add on to this lead with 19 seconds remaining in the first quarter right now folks and now Jay Money kicks it over to official DC. He's got 17 seconds. He does a great job with time management from everything I've seen. Not afraid to just slow it down. Wait for this last shot in the first. That's what he's going to do. Kicks it to Rain on the rim. He's going to kick out on the shot. And that never goes well with that animation. Goes out of bounds. Going to give it back to the Rim Reapers. They got five seconds to make a move. Plenty of time to get this ball progressed and try to get one. Good defense by official DC who's just riding him. Put a saddle on a duck on quack and a strong defensive stop. Nothing coming from it. 0 0.2 and that's going to be the end of your first. Not enough time to get anything up in my opinion. Let's see if they can. Doesn't look like it. We're going to pause for a quick station identification. What is going on, 2K Hoopers? And thank you for tuning in to another WR Pro-Am League broadcast. Tonight, you are locked and loaded for Game 4 of the WR Pro-Am League PlayStation 4 Season 12 Finals between New Lane and the Rim Reapers. New Lane currently up 2-1 in the series with the Rim Reapers playing at home, trying to tie up this best of seven for $2,200 cash money. Of course, if you haven't heard, the King of the Reed Invitational will be happening to finish off NBA 2K18. So if you and your squad would like to get involved, please go visit the WR Pro-Am League website at wr-league.com to sign up for their final upcoming tournament and event for NBA 2K18. Big cash money on the line and the right to be called the King of the Reed Champions. Don't miss out on this finale of NBA 2K18 with the WR Pro-Am League. Of course, I'm your host and commentator for the evening, Snowbike Mike, and we're going to jump back into the second quarter of action right now. Welcome back here. We got second quarter action underway, 351 remaining. New Lane now extending this lead by nine right here, really gone to work quickly in this minute 15, an official DC just showing you what the captain can do. 
He gets the hammer dunk. He gets the body. He's going to make this a three-point possession, most likely, and extend this lead up to 12, just like that. We had a good back-and-forth ball game in the first quarter. Now the Rim Reapers just kind of come out a little flat in the second quarter. And, folks, if you're not going to make him pay on the offensive side, just like this, the new lane squad will make you pay. There's a charging call on a duck on quack, and the ball, the snowball, is getting built. The momentum is going downhill right now for new lane as they try to continue to extend this lead. They're going to get nothing from that underneath hoop right there, and that's their great transition on the pullout, and that's going to make it a 10-point lead. Now 27-17 in favor of new lane. They got 320 remaining, plenty of time in this ballgame. We still got a second half to go, but New Lane up 2-1 in the series. They want to make it 3-1 and get one more step closer to that $2,200 cash money and the right to be called WR Pro-Am League champions. Can they do it? There's the steal. There's the timeout by J Money Locks Up. And man, duck on quack and poppy germ for the Rim Reaper squad. They got to control this team right now. They get a steal of their own. On the inbounds, that helps out a lot as Zerg's going to need to face up, pop up, and that goes no good. Not enough time as the defense collapse on him, but they got to make sure every offensive possession matters. They got to get it where it counts, and if they let this team step away just like that, we are quickly going to have an issue. Now 13-point lead for New Lane, 30-17 to 17, as the snowball continues to grow and continues to go in favor of of new lane can duck on quack get a good offensive possession right here here's the high screen roll kicks it to poppy germ he kicks it over to zerg good ball movement but zerg gonna get closed out on and actually knocks down the three with the heavy contest right there that helps out a whole lot down the stretch now they're down by 10 two and a half remaining in the second quarter of game four right here this is gonna be a big one for the Rim Reapers, they got to stay close. They possibly got to really get this game if they want to stay in it. Smart timeout by New Lane, and they're going to reset with 11 seconds on the shot clock. Now official DC is going to get the pump fake. Nothing from it. He's got four seconds. He's got to give it up quickly. Lost his dribble. J-Rod puts it up, and oh, boy. J-Rod with a three foot could have been on the line, but they're going to count that for three, and he's heavily contested right there. Man, just when you thought you're going to get a good defensive stop for the home squad, they make you pay with that three. Poppy Germs gets a nice backdoor cut and an easy dunk for the big man, but still can't be matching twos with threes from New Lane as they continue to grow this offensive lead right here. Let's see what official DC will do. He's kind of milking this time clock. Going to kick it over to J-Rod, who knocked down a big three momentarily. He's going to kick it back to official DC. Somebody's got to make a move. Five seconds now on the shot clock. He's going to try to drive. Kicks it over, and there's the steal right there by Poppy Germ. That's a good one, and Zerg on transition. We know that guy can fly any chance he can, and he gets an easy transition dunk now. Make it a nine-point lead for New Lane. Rim Reapers trying to keep it in within di single digits. Let's see if they can. Great drop. Right there, and a stop by Poppy Germ, the captain. That's a good one. Zerg's going to face up, pop up. That's going to be no good off the back iron, unfortunately. But Poppy Germ's going to get the offensive rebound, going to get the foul on the floor, and they're going to get a second-chance opportunity right now, thanks to Poppy Germ and KD Elite. Poppy Germ now going to go face back to the basket. Going to try to get some work. Nothing from it. Good drop step. Double drop step. Gets a spin move. Nothing from it. Gets the offensive rebound. Gets that one to drop on the second chance. And he's going to draw the foul. Make it 33-26 now as he tries to make this a three-point possession. And possibly make it a six-point game. 51 seconds remaining in the first half. Official DC. Now this is going to be about the last two or three possessions of this first or of this first half in Game Four. Of course, Official DC and the New Lane Squad leading this series, best of seven, two one over the Rim Reapers. They want to extend this to three one, make it one step closer to that twenty two hundred dollar cash prize. Can the Rim Reapers possibly tie it up? We're going to find out. They had a great Game Three. They limited their turnovers, got some good defensive stops. This far into game four, they have yet to do that. Had a lot of turnovers. Haven't been able to get every offensive possession to matter. And that's a great find. Great backdoor cut by Poppy German. That's what you want to see. Now down by seven for this squad. Official DC now back with the ball. He's got 20 on the shot clock, 27 on the game clock. So 
Grim Reapers will have one more opportunity. And uh-oh, the step back makes you pay from deep. That three is good. And it's just one of those. This guy is a dual threat. He can do it from the outside and the inside. He does so well on the five-off offense, making you just battle down low with him and keep up with him as he tries to get layup after layup. You give him enough space, he's just going to pop it up in your face, and he does. Good dunk right there by Poppy Germ to keep him close, but they're down by eight, and official DC is going to go right back to work. There it is, the step back. You thought he was going to drive on you. He knocks that one down, and we got back to an 11-point lead at the end of this half. Official DC will be your player of the half right now for New Lane as he's just been killing it. 25 points, averaging more than 40 points per game. Game 1, 44. Game 2, 39. Game 3, 49. And man, game four, he's already got 25 points. Somebody got to put a body on official DC3, showing you why he's the captain of this new lane squad, folks. And now back for the second half of action. Of course, I'm your host and commentator for the evening, Snowbike Mike. You can follow me on all my social media channels at Snowbike Mike as I provide that energy, that hype, and that fire play-by-play -play action that you want to hear throughout the Best of 7 series. Thank you to the WR Pro-Am League team for having me back in the broadcasting booth. Let's jump in to the second half of action for Game 4. All right, folks, we are back. Great defensive stop right there for the Rim Reapers. They're going to get that one to count, make it nine points to them as they get this down, this deficit down to a single digit. Official DC and the squad have been in full control, and official DC just showing you his versatility back and forth, whether he's doing it under the rim or outside of the three. He can just do it all, getting everybody to jump right in on the rim, puts it up off the front iron on that heavily contested three-point shot, and now... Poppy Germs in transition. He gets the two-handed dunk to go down. 42-35, seven-point lead for New Lane. They try to extend this series 3-1 if they win and move one step closer to be crowned WRPS4 Season 12 champions. Can Rim Reapers, though, here at home tied up 2-2? We're going to find out as official DC gets the step back. Two hands in his face as now both of these Rim Reaper squads know he's going to try to go to work all the time right now. And duck on quack, these guys got to get a basket here. 42-35, 3.38 remaining in the third. Still eight and a half minutes remaining in the game. Chance for the Rim Reapers here at home to try to get a little bit closer. They're down by seven. Duck on quack, been a little quiet this evening. He's been trying to get it in, but game four just hasn't been about him. It's been all about Poppy Germ. Poppy Germ, the captain, he's going to get that one to drop underneath the hoop and now make it a five-point game. For the Rim Reapers, they're down by five. New Lane back with it on official DC. He's going to go to work in this five-out offense. He's been doing it all evening, getting step back, puts up great defense. Whoever is locking it up on him, it looks like Zerg has come out in this second half really ready to play defense and has done a terrific job stopping official DC from his scoring onslaught. He had 25 points in the first half. He has yet to score in the second half, about two minutes in right now. And good defense on the star that we've been watching. Official DC, Zerg, been playing some terrific defense. Makes New Lane call a timeout. They're up by five. They got 10 seconds on the shot clock, so they're going to have to make slight work of this possession. Let's see what Official DC and the boys can do. There's the step back. He passes out of the shot from the three-point arc, and that's going to be a turnover. Rim Reapers ball and their chance to make this a single possession game right now. Let's see what they can do. Great defense on the defensive side for the Rim Reapers. Really terrific job by Zerg to get it in there. And now Zerg on the offensive side. Going to knock down a big time three from the corner. Now make it a two-point deficit and a steal by a duck on Quack on the inbound. And oh, no. Right when they had it goes right back to official DC, though. Poked out of Zerg's hands on that inbound steal. And now it's right back to new lane now. 42-40. They're up by two with 227. And official DC putting you on a poster. That is three this evening for him. The WR Pro-Am League will be printing out posters. He goes heavily contested on top of Poppy Gerb. And he's going to throw that one down, get the body and one. Can't convert the three-point play right there. But he's going to put his team up 44-40. to 220 remaining. Smart foul by Jay Money locks up to stop the transition for the Rim Reaper squad. 
And now the Rim Reapers kicking it to a duck on quack. Duck on quack's going to need to go to work and really get this team back in it. He's wide open, kicks it to Poppy Germ, hand in his face, no good for the captain. But a duck on quack actually gets the offensive rebound between two defenders. He's going to get the offensive chance, but no, a steal right there by Jay Money locks up a smart timeout as well for New Lane. They only got two remaining, though, so maybe not the best timeout in transition, but they're going to get the ball back and another offensive opportunity to extend the lead. Official DC going back and forth. Poppy Germ coming from the cor the opposite corner with a big-time block off the backboard. That's going to send him packing and back to the Rim Reapers now as they get a chance to possibly make this a one-possession game. Kicks it to Poppy Germ, who's just been on fire. No good for him. Great defense by J Money. Locks up in new lane in transition. Oh, another block by the Rim Reapers. They're going to stop that offensive transition. Smart foul by Rain on the rim to stop the run. And the Rim Reapers, again, a good defensive stop. But just like we talked about in the pregame, if you get these defensive stops, which you need to compete against this squad, you got to make it count on offense. Every single time, you got to get a basket. And they have been quiet these past two possessions after these great defensive stops right now. John Starr going to put it up no good as that one rattles in and out. And that's going to be, I think that should be a clear path. No, they're going to call timeout. Again, the New Lane squad questionable timeouts down the stretch of this third quarter very very interesting folks as now they only have one timeout they inbound it goes off of them and now it's rim reaper ball very interesting as they leave zerg wide open from that corner and that is good for three as well make it a one point game and man maybe just the iq in question for this new lane squad they've taken two very odd timeouts now they only have one left and miss two big time offensive possessions in transition. I don't know what the thought process was. And now here we are, the Rim Reapers with a chance to take the lead off of a great defensive stop down the stretch of the third quarter. Man, the question of this New Lane squad, that is going to come in right here down the end of it. Poppy Germ going to go to work, doesn't get anything from it, kicks it to John Starr. He's got five seconds now as a duck on quack. Got to go to work down low. Zerg going to get the pump fake. Has to put it up. He puts it up. Heavily contested. No good. Three bodies down there, and they get the offensive rebound. A big one down low for the Rim Reapers. They got 18 seconds. No shot clock will be in effect, and now they could possibly take the lead still here at the end of the third of game four. This is big for the Rim Reapers squad as they have come in full control Duck on Quack getting official DC to go left and right. He's going to go straight into the heart of the defense. Great defense, though, by Jay Money Locks Up, who has been so strong at the center position for New Lane. That's going to be cast for three. Cast along two. Will they count it? Yes, they will count that right at the end of the third quarter. We got a 46-43 ball game for New Lane. We're going to pause for a quick station identification before we start the fourth quarter of action. What is going on, 2K Hoopers? And thank you for tuning in to Game 4 of the WR Pro-Am League PlayStation 4 Season 12 Finals between New Lane and the Rim Reapers. It's a best-of-seven series for $2,200 cash money and the right to be called WR Pro-Am League Champions. Right now, New Lane leads this series 2-1 during Game 4, and they are up right now by five points over the Rim Reaper squad who have played all four games at home. We're going to lock and load with your commentator, Snowbike Mike, right here right now to see how this fourth quarter of game four will turn out. Will the Rim Reapers tie up this series 2-2 or can New Lane fend off our hungry Rim Reaper squad and move to 3-1 and one on the series? Let's find out right now. Welcome back to the fourth quarter of action. One minute in and a new lane has extended their lead up to three points. Rim Reapers down the end of that third quarter got a lot of momentum. Some great defensive stops. Some good offense on the side. And just like that, Poppy Germ with another big defensive stop. A huge swat on official DC. He's going to go all 97 feet. And that is good for the dunk. Puts his team now down by one. Poppy Germ 28 points. One of one from the outside. 13 of 17 from the field. Poppy Germ, the captain of this Rim Reaper squad, has really been playing his heart out and giving it his best effort. Big three right there by the New Lane squad. Doesn't go in, but they get the second chance opportunity. And Cass, that one knocks in from deep. 51-47 now. 
for the new lane squad. They're up by four. Can the Rim Reapers get some offensive productivity going on and got to get some defensive stops again if they want to possibly tie up this series 2-2? That's going to be a duck on quack, a big-time offensive opportunity from the free throw line. No good, heavily contested, but he gets the offensive rebound by Poppy Germ now with 30 points as he puts in that second chance gimme right there and makes it a two-point game. Do not look away, folks. 2K Hoopers, get your popcorn popping. Get your adult beverages flowing because rain on the rim makes you look right at that screen. The dead eye from deep, heavily contested too, knocks that one down, making it a five-point ball game just like that. The Rim Reapers get so close to possibly having the chance to take the lead. And New Lane, just too many weapons on the offensive defensive side. Poppy Germ with a big time up and under. He's going to draw the foul and possibly make this a three-point possession here, folks. Poppy Germ now up. That one's going to knock in and good. Make it a two-point lead for New Lane. They're going to have the ball. 2.30 remaining in this fourth quarter of Game 4. They're going to look to extend this series lead 3-1. Rim Reapers at home have a chance to tie it up 2-2. This is a best of seven with $2,200 on the line. And Cass, he just knocks down a huge, heavily contested three from the corner. 57-52, and it's back up to five just for him. Just like that, a two-possession ball game, and Duck on Quack got to get a quick one. He gets the left-handed hammer in that high screen and roll scenario, and now they're back down by three. Got to get a defensive stop as the official DC has been quiet thus far. Game 144, game 239, game 349 points. Right now, he currently has 29 points, so they've done a good job at limiting the official DC, the captain of this new lane squad here in game four. He's still getting his, but in reality, they are limiting him in a good way. Great defense by Zerg and Duck on Quack to keep this game close. And Duck on Quack gets a good one with the heavy contest down low. He's only got eight points on that point guard position. He's been quieted on the Rim Reaper squad. And that's going to be official DC. Step back from the elbow up and good. Puts his team back up by five. And we go back and forth in this heavyweight bout. And now Duck on Quack going to try to get this high screen and roll moving. He gets the burn by. Doesn't want anything from it, but that's KD Elite. Great off-ball screen by Poppy Germ right there on that hash mark area. That gets KD Elite open. That's his first three really of the night, and it's a big one there, folks, as now we got... As now we got a two-point game, 61-59. Good steal right there by the Rim Reaper squad. And now Duck on Quack in transition, kicks it to Poppy Germ. Great right-handed layup there, 61-61. One minute remaining. Do not look away. Game four is going to come down right here at the end. 55 seconds remaining, official DC in the five out. He's going to go back and forth, gets caught up at the free throw line. Going to have to reset at the top now, 10 seconds. Great defense by Zerg. He gets a hand in his face, and oh, right when it almost bounces out, Zerg is going to get called for the goaltend. Very unfortunate scenario right there for Zerg after a great defensive stop. 63-61, 43 seconds now, Rim Reapers. Have to get a basket to stay alive in this. Duck on Quack passes out of the shot down low. Poppy Germ, great job to get out of the key. He's going to go back at it. And, oh, gets bumped right there. And it's going to be new lane basketball off of Poppy Germ. The captain just couldn't stay in control. And you got a five-second differential on the shot clock game clock. 29 seconds on the game clock. 24 on the shot clock. What will be the move as new lane wastes their final timeouts to move up, progress past half court. But, man, that's a big question mark on that final timeout as all they had to do was just get it in. Now, will you hold strong on the defensive side or will they foul to try to stop the clock? All big questions. Official DC, oh, my gosh. Great offensive talent right there to draw the foul between two defenders. He goes up, gets the bucket and one, and now is going to go to the line to make this a three-point play. And, uh-oh, 
We got a two-possession ball game just like that. New Lane up 66-61. Rim Reapers, they got two timeouts in their favor. They got to get a quick one. Duck on Quack, the step back, hand in his face. Knocks down a big-time three, and now they're down by two. A must-foul scenario. Will they stop him before half court, and will they foul after? No, they don't. They're going to foul right away. John Starr, smart foul, 66-64. Official DC, the captain, just got to knock them both down to extend this lead to a two-possession game. He knocks down one. He knocks down two. Make it 38 points for him and make it a four-point ball game. New lane now up 68-64. Just got to have a quick two, possibly a three right now to stay alive. They're going to try to kick it to KD as a lead. Way too many people on him. Kicks it to Zerg. Long two. Foot over the line. Can't get that one to drop. Duck on Quack. Gets a good rebound on the offensive side. Kicks it to Poppy Germ. That's going off the front iron. Just too tired down the stretch. And a new lane takes that one, folks. 68-64. The Rim Reapers make it a close one there and make it a nail biter. But new lane just too strong, too tough on the back of official DC. And they're going to take game four of the WR Pro-Am League PlayStation 4 Season 12 Finals. They're going to move to three and one over the Rim Reapers. It's a best of seven series, $2,200 on the line, and they are one step closer to being crowned WR PlayStation 4 Season 12 champions.